All right, David, tonight at 10, jails in crisis. The Department of Justice says conditions at the Hines County jails are just too dangerous. 16 WAPT's Jennifer Ortega is live from the downtown jail. Jennifer, you spoke with the sheriff about all of this. This 29-page report has a laundry list of violations, including prisoner-on-prisoner -prisoner violence, uncontrollable contraband, to even staff use of force. Now the sheriff says fixing it will take a team effort. It takes more than just a sheriff uh, to make this jail system work. The Department of Justice report lists dozens of violations at both the Hines County Detention Center and the downtown Jackson Jail. I think it's actually to some degree. Uh, because of some of the things that are highlighted are the things that we have actually uh, been informing the public about. Infractions include violating constitutional rights of prisoners and the jail conditions being objectively unsafe. We need to make sure that it's safe not only uh, for the officers and the guards that are working, but we also uh, have to make it safe for the prisoners that are involved as well or that are being incarcerated. Because these things have been neglected over years, we kind of behind the eight ball trying to play catch up. I can tell you this, uh, the board and sheriff office have been working very hard. Supervisor Robert Graham says they fixed a lot of the problems since the DOJ began its investigation. Over 50% of those particular issues have been addressed. Um, we're not going to sit here and try to make excuses. Uh, whatever needs to get fixed, we're going to get fixed. The report also highlights three riots in the past three years, which resulted in the death of at least one inmate, saying it was a result of inadequate staffing and staff training. The sheriff going to do his part, and the sheriff will do his part, uh, in hopes that all the components that make up making this a manageable system uh, reads the report and understand the need uh, to move forward to make it work so a lawsuit won't take place. The Board of Supervisors, we have uh, allocated approximately six million additional dollars to a twenty-two million dollar budget for repairs in the jail. Again, the sheriff says they're working as fast as they can to fix all those problems. Now, if the government is, isn't satisfied with the sheriff's progress, they can take legal action. Live in downtown Jackson, Jennifer Ortega, 16, WAPT News. Hey, Jennifer, thank you. Again, that report says the Hines County jails are in a crisis state. There have been three major riots in the past three years. A prisoner died in one of those riots. They also mentioned several escapes from the downtown jail. If the jail does not fix the problems within 49 days, the attorney general may file a lawsuit. A Jackson cop arrested, accused of beating up a female colleague.